Maintenance is also important to do on your uh, 3D printer. The procedure is quite the same on each printer. What I use, uh, it can be a little bit different on the Sidewinder, but I will show you how I do my maintenance, maybe once a month or maybe even more often uh, if I ever use my printers uh, really, really a lot. So. The first thing I use is to uh, blow down some dust and uh, other particles with this little uh, compressor here. It is a very small compressor. It only produces um, four bar in, in pressure. So I start from the top and I work down and uh, let's start doing that. <laughs> So, now it's important to go behind the machine and do exactly the same, from the top and down. And also here, the, the, the rods here, it's also important to get uh, clean from dust before we give them a little bit of uh, oil. Well, let's continue blowing this clean. So we have now cleaned everything <coughs> with a compressor and a maximum bar of, uh, of, of four bars. And uh, I don't know how much that is in PSI. Um, but uh, we have got all the dust away now and it is time to, uh, to uh, do the next thing. And that is remove the filament. <coughs> and when I remove the filament, I do not heat it up to to full heat as when I would 3D print it. As an example, this filament here, I would use 210 to 212 degrees, but I will stop with 180 degrees and then remove the filament. So why do I do that? Well, if you have some dirt inside the nozzle or you have some, some uh, attendance to a clock, you can be lucky and it will be removed uh, because your filament is not totally fluid. There's still some bite in it and it will drag out the dirt that uh, could be in the nozzle. So um, let's go to that part of, uh, of the cleaning here. So in this case, <clears throat> I think I will set the heat to, let me see, let me see, I will. Put it to 180 degrees. The next thing I do now before I remove the filament is I clean the, the bed and I use some, uh, well, it's uh, biological non chemicals, and not because I'm a freak, but <laughs> because. Uh, it was a good try and it is with orange and I will now take this out on the bed here and just let it stay for a little bit and I can feel I had some sticky stuff here and maybe I should just clean it very well.
It has a smell of orange, by the way. Also here, the wheels on the extruder. Let me see how hot it has become. 180 degrees. So now I remove the filament and, and in fact it looks quite nice. So the next I will do now is, I don't know if you have, it's not necessary, but I have here this 0 0.4, it's a 0 0.4 nozzle. So See, we get through here. There was still some plastic in PLA, and now I clean clean the nozzle. And I want to, to move the move my. Set axis up, and then I will see if I can. So here we got it, and I can now clean my nozzle, and it looks really great. So now I'm sure that my nozzle is clean. There is no glock. There is no other stuff in and uh, so the next step now is to clean around so now I use some sanding paper this is P240 you can even make it uh, even more fine but that's because I want to I want to uh, let me move this up a bit more so I want to clean the nozzle so it is nice and uh, no rest of filament. is now nice looking and clean so uh, the second third thing I will do now is to add a little bit of grease to the rods I have uh, for the uh, set axis and for that I use the same spray as I use for the chain on my motorbikes and uh, this is a chain spray you can buy and why it's it doesn't drip and we D40 also have a really, really nice uh, uh, grease that is perfect for this. It should not be very wet. It should be sticking good and not dripping and, and running. And that's exactly what, what, what this is doing. So let's grease it. set axis up and down. So 
And I'll be holding the axis. Did not. Cut. Yeah, I also look for dirt on the boom to the set axis. And now, the oil is being taken out all over the rod. And I will remove the rest of the oil that is spilled here. Okay. Right. So, and uh, the last thing I do is before I load the filament again, is to uh, level the bed so I'm sure it's okay. I did not have any problems so far, but uh, let's anyway do leveling the bed. And for that, I use the procedure that is in the. See, the But in fact, here, it would be possible to just give it. So, the bed is level as well, and I mean the bed is really easy to level on, on the side right now. And also it is, um, it is uh, very a very stable bed, so uh, normally it's, it's just some few adjustments uh, that need to be done on the side right now. So, now we want to, well I will raise the bed. So, now I will heat up my muscle to 210 degrees. So the temperature is at 210 degrees and I load my, my filament. It should be quite easy, then I use the... But when you see how nice it comes out here, and that's exactly how it should do. So, and now we try to extrude some filament. And I will extrude with normal 10 millimeters. And do you see here, it's coming really nice out of the nozzle. It's not curling or, or, or being uh, sitting on the side of the nozzle. This means the nozzle is clean and is set really, really, really nice. So uh, let's try to do it again. Really nice. Really nice. So I'll turn off the heat. Well, so the filament is loaded. The printer is clean, it's leveled, it's ready to run. We have uh, cleaned all the beans, the wheels, and uh, yeah, so we are ready to, to use the printer again for another month. So, thank you for watching. Happy printing.